What is up, Groovers? How are we? It's been a while. I know, I know. I've been away. I've been coming back. And the, the, the beautiful thing about holidays is not trying to come back to the real world. It's more about like recalibrating. It's funny how going away for holidays, you're like, hmm, I can now see with clear non rose colored glasses what really matters i can see what i really like what i'm tolerating what i'm wanting more of what i'm wanting less of and it just gives you this like adjustment in your sales so i've been doing that the last week just kind of readjusting the sales so forgive me for those who have been such beautiful humans to follow along the journey and enjoy the different random lives that i do but I've been recently in this group of um, people and it's about hormones and whatnot. And people have been asking some really cool questions, which has led to some awesome conversations. And if you know anything about me, you know that I love good conversations. So today's conversation is about brain fog. A lot of people are suffering from it these days. And I wanted to open up the conversation about this into many different aspects. Brain fog is many things. And I can see a lot of people in this group are like, oh, I use this supplement. And I use that supplement. And I tried magnesium or I needed zinc or I needed iron or I needed blah 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 <laughs> my point for um, I shall make that second point so yes it could be those things it could be you might need a supplement maybe your diet is actually not providing you the nutrients you need to be getting uh, a clear mind is one thing then potentially your environment and your lifestyle might be cough blocking. I'm still going to keep using it. I can't let it go, guys. I love that word so much. Um, it's going to be cough blocking. Your body's ability to digest effectively and absorb the nutrients that your body so much craves. Hence why we get cravings because it's our body going, oh, yo, I'm over here and I needed these things and you're not listening. So now I'm having a craving. So the chocolate, the sugar, the salt, they're all signals that something's out of whack and you're not listening. So your environment could be very well affecting you. So say you've got background noise, say you've got, say you're a health type maybe that can't have too much stimulating color and yet you're in a space that's got so many colors and so much clutter and so much mess. So your environment's gonna stress you. Or maybe you're someone who needs a bit of a quiet, calm area and yet there's so much noise going on. The brain fog's gonna be there, right? It's gonna creep over and it's gonna put the veil and you're gonna get stressed and anxious and resentful and, and the, whole, the whole cluster cloud of stuff comes on. Then we have the conversation where it's like, okay, so maybe you just need to spend some time and organize your life. Maybe you need to stop, like check yourself before you wreck yourself, stop, have a look around your environment. So the perfect example of this is that, hey, I'm human and I do human messy stuff because I'm female and I'm human totally letting myself own that so on Sunday I was incredibly hungover yep had a moment on Saturday night and I became so hungover <laughs> I caused myself to be so hungover owning that was a good night and so I'm laying there and everything's stressing me out I'm feeling ill as it was and I was like I'm resenting many many things at the moment I'm in a real well like you know how you're sitting at the bottom of the well and you're like I'm looking up I can see the light somewhere up there but I cannot figure out it's like the bottom of the well is lined with slippery lino and everything is causing me to fall back into the water so then when we're looking at our conversation like that it's like so what is it that I can do right now to feel better because you're going to feel like crap anyway. This is the perfect example. You're going to feel poorly because of the choice you made the night before for, in this instance. So what can I do in my environment to change my current state? So what did I do? I dragged my sorry ass out of bed and I cleaned the room. I went, the rest of the house is a bomb site. There's children involved, so it's a bomb site. And so what can I do right now in this little cave that I am that I can make myself feel better? Apart from drinking lots and lots and lots of really good 9.5 um, water I ended up getting up and I cleaned up the floors I put away all the clothes I put everything away I made the bed I sprayed pretty stuff around I vacuumed and I mopped and then I sat back down and I went I'm exhausted I feel like I want to vomit because of how bad I feel but I feel great because suddenly my environment is clear and clean and organized and everything feels like it's better like I can cope with it all you know like there's nothing worse than trying to cope when your environment is getting in your way so when we're getting brain fog, it could be that. It could be that your environment just needs a clean out. Therefore, your brain needs a clean out. Did you ever hear um, the saying or people say like, you know, your, your bedroom represents your state of mind? Totally relevant. Oh, it's such a beautiful sediment, that one. So 
your direct environment will affect your ability to think clearly, to react clearly, to be your best friend or to be your own headache. And so another perfect example is right now we are not only renovating, we are, or Brad is, renovating. We have children who are in their teen years, so they're absolute assholes. Then we have, um, <laughs> then we have our own jobs and issues going on. Um, we have emotions. We have um, busy schedules. And so everything's just like totally they're going domino, 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 and it's about to get knocked over. And so the environment can totally, totally do you in. Or you could choose to make sure that every single day you wake up and you make your bed, you brush your teeth, you put away your clothes and do the small, annoying, mundane things that are super easy to ignore, super easy to drop the ball on. And suddenly when you look around, you're like, ah, the floor, ah, the bed, ah, the bathroom, ah, everything in my life is up the shit. But it's not. It's like it's actually you just need to do the small little cleaning up things so you're able to not worry about that stuff and focus on what's, what's actually important. That can be brain fog. Now, yes, you're right. It could be vitamins and minerals. But like I explained before, those vitamins and minerals would be actually found within the food sources had you be making had you be making the right food choices. And this is where you get into personalized health in the respect of understanding what foods are right for you right now. Um, and then coming into the space of going, is my environment supporting my body to actually take up those nutrients? Does my body actually manage to uptake all of the nutrients that's within the food I'm eating is my environment allowing me to get indigestion or to digest my food and take up all of the nutrients right so then when we look at all of this our brain fog can be from an overwhelming lifestyle which some health types really find that really easy it might just be the floor's dirty and they're freaking the heck out Others have got a capability of dealing with a lot more. They can deal with the chaos and the drama for longer without snapping because they're very resilient bodies, right? So if some of the resilient bodies are like, yeah, I can keep going. I'll keep going. I'll just let it go. Let it go. Whereas others, they're like, you put the pen in the wrong pile and now I'm going to lose my cool. So each of the different health types have a different way of reacting to the different situations. So what's stressful for one being will not be stressful for another. What's beneficial for one health type is actually gonna set the other one off. <laughs> you know, like you are all so individual. So when it comes to brain fog, please understand there's not one nutrients or not one uh, mineral that you're lacking that's gonna fix the problem. There is a lot that's gonna take to fix the problem. It is an alignment of everything and understanding the bigger picture, the bigger picture that is you. You are not single faceted. You are not a simple uh, organism. You are a very complex emotional organism and you really need to honor that. You really need to take time to understand that. Don't look at templates. Don't do it just because someone else said, oh, it's, I took magnesium or I took zinc. Drink more water. Your brain is 75%. 75%? Oh God, check yourself, Shana. There's 75% water. There is like 75 or 80% of your body weight, weight, that is water weight. So drink enough freaking water, people. Like legitimately, I broke my favorite water bottle. Where have I put it now? I drank my favorite water bottle, but now I've got back to this one. That's seven liters. That will last me a day. Maybe I'll have a little bit left over tomorrow, but I will drink at least a liter and a half of water before I leave the house in the morning. And then I'll drink about four to five liters during the day. And then I'll generally drink another liter and a half to two liters in the afternoon, evening around gym time. You are a water molecule surrounded by emotions and fat molecules and muscle molecules and all the fun other stuff. That's your first point of call. But the rest of it is simple. It actually doesn't have to be hard to figure out the rest of it. Why there's the brain fog? There's a blueprint that you're not actually aware of yet that you're not understanding how to follow. And that's the key component of what I do with the six-week self-evolution program is enable you to understand your blueprint because nobody else knows what your blueprint is. Others can sit there and be like, you need to be keto, paleo, vegan, whatever it is. You need this, you need that. Are you getting enough sleep? Are you sleeping at the right time? Are you waking up too early? Are you expecting too much of yourself first thing in the morning? Or maybe you're a sleeper in or out. Maybe you're a night owl. You are 
a very complex human being, but it does not have to be complex to get your shiznis back together. That's where the greater conversations get to come in. And if you're one of those people that's sick to death of trying all the things and having no idea if it's actually working and if it's actually designed for you and you're sick of guessing, you and I need to have a conversation. And that's where I say, get off your backside, get trackside and make some actions. <laughs> Let's talk more. Let's talk more about brain fog. I've got another couple topics coming this week and I'm excited to be back in the game in uh, my favorite place, which is sharing what I'm loving and caring about all of you in every aspect of your human messiness. Thanks, guys. Talk soon.